Dig out your overalls and dust off your straw hats, folks, because we're listening to Bluegrass this week, right here on Traffic Jams. Yep. These are the songs that are going to make your road rage throwdowns feel more like stagecoach hoedowns. This is the Creaking Tree String Quartet and their second album, cleverly named Side 2. Released in 2004 to the rural community of Toronto, Ontario. Another bluegrass band from Toronto? That's hardly news. Pretty sure it's actually Jane and Finch, if I'm not mistaken. Or maybe it was King Street. Financial District? I don't know. There's so much bluegrass in that city, it's hard to keep track. These guys released four albums in total, and in my opinion, they're all equally as good. I've just chosen to focus on this album today because it's the one that they happen to be touring when I first discovered them. There's only two things that I'm looking for when I listen to instrumental music. The first being the melodies. Are they distinct? Do they convey some emotion? Are they catchy? Yes. They are. So much so that you wonder how some of those metal progressive instrumental bands are getting away with. Did I just read a hit? If you thought maybe I did, then you're wrong. Now, don't get me wrong, I love listening to chaotic, nonsensical instrumental music as much as the next guy, but that doesn't make it objectively good writing. <laughs> And yes, there's some good, okay. All right, calm down, I'm just making a point. You know I'm a metalhead at heart. Which leads me to my second point. Every member of this band, the mandolin player, the upright bass player, the acoustic guitar player, and the fiddle player are shredders. Can shred if they were a kitchen utensil. They'd be a cheese shredder. If they were an office supply, They'd be paper shredder. If these guys could be any character in the Ninja Turtles series, they'd be shredder. All of them. There'd just be one turtle at the helm and then four mutated rats. If they were cereal, they'd be a box of shreddies or Reese's Puffs because Reese's Puffs are delicious. But in all seriousness, they really are so good that if I hadn't been at that festival, oh, festivals. Where art thou, festivals? If I hadn't been at that festival, I would not believe that they were really playing some of the stuff on this album. So fast, so precise, so clean, they're just quick. And yeah, they might be on performance enhancing drugs, but I don't think they are. I think it's just good old fashioned hoot and holler and energy. Give it a listen and see if you agree. And join me again next week for another episode of Traffic Gems. See you then.